And planning for the NBA All-Star Game has been a few years in the making, and now it is less than two weeks away here. A lot of people are going to be coming to Salt Lake City. you got athletes, celebrities, and, of course, the fans. Yeah, new specialist Alex Cabrera was at Vivint Arena today, where the executive chef in charge of food for the big event wants to make sure everybody got a taste of what Utah has to offer. Yeah, when you think of Utah's culinary scene, most people will say green jello, fry sauce, funeral potatoes, but it has become a lot more than that. And today here at Vivint Arena, we spoke with the executive chef in charge of showing off what Utah has to offer during NBA All-Star Game Weekend. Sorry. Yeah, no, it looks great. Everyone likes good food. Right. Whether it's a main course, a side dish, or a snack, the tastier, the better. Perfect. In Utah. But even the best chef can feel a little pressure <laughs> when it comes time to feed the best basketball players in the world. Food's got to be perfect. Food's got to be perfect, and that's my job. Travis Taylor has provided food for many events. He works with the Jazz all the time. But the NBA All-Star Game with the athletes, celebrities, and fans, it's something most chefs will never get to do. There's pressure for sure, but you know what? It's, it's really... The end result is really rewarding. But he didn't want to just provide food people can get anywhere. Taylor and the Jazz wanted to show off what Utah has to offer from local places like Cup Bop, J Dogs, and Iceberg. There will still be more high end options. King Seven Bone Export Roast, look at that. But Taylor says combining the two will show Utah's food scene is getting there. Well, I'll tell you, Salt Lake City is an up and coming city, right? It's the fastest growing city. We've got amazing restaurant partners here. And what better to tell the story than to bring all these restaurant partners into this building for 18,000 fans to experience? Taylor has brought in 80 chefs, putting in a combined 7,000 hours to get ready for the big event. We're putting in a lot. And while he's already looking forward to the day after the All Star game, he's doing his best to enjoy this moment now. It may be another 30 years before Utah gets the game again. I'm having a blast. This is awesome. What an honor to be a part of the NBA All-Star Weekend. Everybody here with the Utah Jazz feels this All-Star game in a couple of weeks is an opportunity to show off just how far Utah has come since the last All-Star game here in 1993. At Vivint Arena, Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News. All I saw was milkshakes. I'm nice. sure there was other stuff. I, all I could see was the milkshakes. Great stuff, it Alex. Good. <laughs> KSL is your home for all things All-Star Access, and that includes tickets to some of the biggest events, like NBA Crossover. It's the All-Star Fan Experience that will set up shop at the Salt Palace Convention Center. KSL Today will be giving those tickets away all next week. Watch for that contest starting Monday at 4.30 in the morning.